Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. This is Major Clanger. Winter conditions have really set in here now in Scotland and it's uh, we've got damp and dreary nights. And so I thought it would be worthwhile digging back into my archive of, of footage and having a look from some of the footage shot earlier in the year and see what we've got. Whoa, 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 right, I was in Chloe's back. This footage was taken back in uh, May. It was filmed at Land Warrior Airsoft. And I thought it was an interesting game to dig out. So we can use this as an example of where a small number of defenders attempt to hold on to a uh, objective against a, or hold on to a base against a larger attacking force. If you think um, Zulu and Rock's Drift, then perhaps the numbers weren't quite on that sort of scale, but you get the idea. And there are some particular tactical tips that I perhaps like to discuss. Okay, you want to see anything? Okay, I've got one. I've got one at four o'clock. So with me in the base there, we have... Uh, the regulars, we've got Harry Chap, we've got Jimbo, we've got Harry Chap's brother, got Jamie. Uh, at the start, you, you saw uh, Tiny Clanger. They don't know who Ali is. Now, when there's only dozen or so people holding on to this, this base, communication becomes a, a key, key ability to make sure that you hold on to the base knowing where the enemy is because no one person can cover all of the, the lines of sight and the lines of approach three. to this base. So we need to be calling out where we spotted enemies, calling out when they're hit, Let's call where we're taking incoming fire from. Now most of you will probably be familiar with the, the clock system for calling out targets and so what you would normally do is uh, call say 12 o'clock if an enemy is straight ahead, 3 o'clock if they're to, to the right etc. But if you're defending a circular base like that, that can get very confusing very quickly because no one, you don't necessarily know where the other person is facing or looking so if, if Hairy chap who's covering the, the far back right of this base was to call 12 o'clock. Yeah. I wouldn't know necessarily what he's, what he's indicating. So a technique that we've, we're using here is rather than using our own relative uh, clock facing, we've designated a point on the base to uh, act as 12 o'clock. And then any references that we get, we're giving to our teammates are based on that 12 o'clock rather than our own personal yeah, one. So when I'm calling that there's people moving from, from 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, that means that's the right hand side of the base as I'm, I'm looking at it. So we've just lost Nick there, he's, he's out of ammunition. Something else we're all quite conscious of trying to do here is keep keep your heads up. It's very, uh -huh. it can become uh, very tempting to keep your head when you've got a, a fixed position, a fixed barricade like this, to keep your head down and keep yourself out of the line of fire. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it is very important that you keep, you keep eyes on uh, any approach route to the to the base. Yeah, moving from two to Otherwise three. Otherwise the enemy can make ground on you where you have the advantage. You're behind a hard cover. It's much easier for you to shoot them than it is for them to shoot you as long as you've seen them. And so there on the, the left, Jimbo is called targets and they're dispatched whilst at range, whilst it would be a, 
almost an impossible shot for them to take us. So we're firing almost from all sides of the, the base now. Uh, we've been surrounded in the actually the objective, the larger objective here is um, our, the two teams have been split and over a course of I think it was 20 minutes the team who held the most okay, bases yeah. at the right. end of the game uh, would win and there's there's three bases we've been dispatched to the uh, base and try the base in the middle we did manage to get there there first and we've managed to lay claim to it yep. Got the him. base closest to our respawn point we believe to be secure and you can hear across the the site shots ringing out and fight for the one closest to their base incoming fire if it drops or if it ricochets then you're okay well, that's Jimbo hit right how many people we got left so tiny calls out targets right at 12 o'clock There's a hit. That was a bit of lucky there. Uh, you might have seen that uh, my uh, gun had locked up. Fortunately, the, the shot just Thank before it had taken the enemy out. And a quick flick to full auto clears the lock up. That's fine by us. Tiny Clanger does quite a good job of spotting targets for me there. As you can see, I've got a, a large piece of barricade, uh, full head height, to, to just to my right, the, the darker wood there, which means I can stand, but I can't necessarily see forward when I'm looking from that. Time clangers at the back of the base can see past whilst being out of range of the enemy, is able to call out targets for me. No, I got, I got two of them. And that's two more taken down. You better not be dead. You better not be alive, pal. Stand behind the dead guy. Cheers, Clay. Oh, incoming! There's more moving across on the right. Where's that coming from, Jamie? The footage you see here has been edited down a little bit. The, the attacks did come in in waves. So I've, I've just trimmed out some of the footage where, where we're standing around just looking at people. Well, it's tougher for them because they'd, they'd have to go near the uh, ammo dump, which we hold anyway. If people are interested in seeing some of my unedited, yeah. unedited footage, I have considered putting some of that up. Um, but with most first, I, I wouldn't do commentary over that. And I think that the... In honesty. Anything more happening your way, Jamie? You do want to see the, the action of the shots. Whilst I do try and retain the realism of the, the scenario and don't try and make it just like a glory reel for myself, I think really the, the interest is in the, the, the action and the combat. But if you are interested in seeing the not, unedited stuff, then do let me know. Then it's something I'll, I'll consider popping up on this channel. Hang on, don't. The marshal will call us 30 seconds, we don't have to hold yeah, on to this, this long. Can't get everyone. Still more fire coming in. Where? Jamie's hit! Next game. We've held the we held the base. Yep. And has uh, achieved our objective. Oh no! I... Unfortunately, Scott brings us the, the <laughs> bad news that the base that should have been the most secure, the one closest to our respawn point, uh, had actually been taken out by a, a skillful ambush with, by a chap with a uh, shotgun. Um, but that uh, sometimes the way it goes, you can only fight the the battle that that you're, you're fighting 
And with that, this is Major Clanger out. <laughs>